Hey, this is Android894. Uh, today I have another watch review video for you. Not too long ago I reviewed the Suunto M5 All Black Sport Watch. Uh, it was a good uh, exercise watch. And I still use it and I, I really like it, but I just needed something different for a casual watch because this one as I kind of addressed in the other video, the outer ring is kind of a soft plastic, so it scratches easily. And this whole screen on the front scratches pretty easily, too. So I started looking up good watches. I wanted a solar watch because I didn't want to have to buy a battery all the time. And finally settled on a G-Shock so I'll show you that it's the GW2310 FB I guess because it's full black but uh, I really like this watch it is it's supposed to be $150 but I got it on Amazon for I think $109 so that was a pretty good deal but I'll show you the back plate I don't think it'll focus on the letters but, uh, it's not as thick as I thought it would be I was kinda concerned that the since it's a G-Shock it would be kinda bulky but it's not as bad as I thought. See, it's kind of still kind of big, but it's not too big for my wrist. I don't have that big wrist, so that's nice that it's this size. One thing I liked about it was the little metal band around the screen. It's ion plated stainless steel. I thought it was plastic, but it's actually stainless steel, so that's nice. It says G-Shock on it. Uh, show you some of the modes on it. The buckle is also stainless steel, which is nice. Um, So you have regular timekeeping mode, says the day, as you can see, I don't know if you can see or not, but it's on full charge up in that circle right there. A lot of people said that when they got their watches it wasn't full charged and that the watch could never keep a charge, but I've never had that problem, so it's fine for me. Uh, has the day, the date, and the time. Uh, and then you have the mode button down here. It changes it to different time zone. You got your alarms. I think there's four different alarms. You got a stopwatch, a timer, and that's it. And then your backlight. I don't know if I can show it very well. One thing I don't like is the backlight is not very bright. In fact, you can't see it very well. You can see it okay at night, but it doesn't last very long, and it's not super bright. But it is a solar watch, so that's what you can usually expect with that. Um, overall I really like the watch it looks good and it works good uh, one thing I like about it it is pretty sturdy I've hit it multiple times on different things and it's not really scratched up at all I think it's got one little nick in it which must have been from hitting it pretty hard on something because I hit it all the time and it doesn't mark it. Uh, 
I think the only thing that I really don't like about it is that I can't have it tight or firm at all on my wrist because of the watch band. For some reason the watch band just isn't very comfortable for me. Um, and I don't know why, but I think it's just a little bit too uh, rigid or rough on my wrist. So that's pretty much the only thing I don't like about it. It feels like it cuts off your circulation sometimes. But, I mean, I just wear it slightly loose on my wrist and it works fine. So, hope you like this short review of the G-Shock GW2310FB and thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.